Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds from 3dgameman.com and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the NZXT Havoc 140 CPU Cooler. Have a look at the box here first. Quite nice, lots of pictures of the product on the box as well as plenty of features and specifications about it. You can see that it has this shrink wrap all over the box. This is great because you know that nobody else has been inside it. Let me just open it up here. Looks to be like one security seal and it's right here. I'll cut that as well. And then... Now, let's have a closer look inside. Here's the user's manual. Very large fan. You see, it rests in this styrofoam. Another fan. And the heatsink, which rests here in the bottom. Let me take this out first. This is probably all the mounting hardware yes ooh and look at this a sleeved lead wow look at that beautiful boy this is packed in pretty tight that's good because it ain't going anywhere and here is the heat sink. Now, let's have a closer look. Now, while it does come with all the mounting hardware, it also comes with thermal compounds. So you're pretty much ready to go right out of the box. And this beautiful sleeved cable is for powering the two fans. This end gets connected into a three pin fan header on the motherboard and these two ends get connected into the two fans. Now this cooler is compatible with just about every socket on the market, Intel 1366, 1155, 1156, 775, AMD sockets, AM3, AM2 Plus, and AM2. As you can see, this heatsink has lots and lots and lots of fins just goes on and on forever. It comes with six pretty humongous heat pipes. The base, in fact, is 100% soldered copper, and the reason why it does look copper, you know, that gold appearance, is it's nickel-plated, and also I should mention that the fins are aluminum. So what you have here is a cooler that has plenty of aluminum fins, six huge heat pipes and a solid copper base along with two 140 millimeter fans. This should have no problem keeping the CPU cool. I'll test it out a little later on in the video review, but first I'll show you how to mount these fans. So they include two fans and they also include four of these rubber straps. These rubber straps simply kind of pull into or snap into the fans itself on both sides. And all you need to do is connect it first. So you pull it through here. Once it's connected on either side, you just kind of stretch it onto the heat sink like so. Get a closer shot here. Do the same thing on each side for each fan. Now note the direction of airflow. Both of these fans are pulling in air and pushing it out in one direction. It's pulling it in this way and pushing it out this way. You don't want to have, you know, one fan pushing in air and the other one pushing in air. That's not going to work. You want to have a nice flow of air going through all of the aluminum fins. Also, you want to position this on top of your CPU in the case so that it is going to port the warm air out 
side of the case. You don't want this being ported inside of the case. So you want to orientate it so actually this is going to exhaust the air, usually to the back case fan, and then that back case fan can then port all the warm air from this out the case. Here's that nifty sleeved power lead for the two fans, and now you can see how it is attached. Looks very clean. Now, I also wanted to mention how smooth this base is. It's important because this is what comes in direct contact with the CPU. Finally, have a listen to the two fans at maximum speed. If you're looking for an affordable CPU cooler that is going to offer fantastic performance, look brilliant, also be quiet, well, this just might be it. And remember that NZXT has all kinds of other cooling products as well. Overall, this is a kick-ass product. Until next time, take care. <laughs>